Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to be starting a new project. So the parlour is all go at the moment. Uh, we've got some uh, design features that I'm still working on for the walls and whatnot. But something that I know isn't going to change, I'm going to need a ceiling rose. So I'm going to attempt to make this out of MDF and I'll take you along and we'll work our way through it as we go. So I'm going to get started on that today. So stay tuned and we'll start building it. Just before we get into the work guys, I've got a few shout outs. So firstly, Chaz. Uh, Chaz has done a drawing for me, this drawing, for the parlour. Uh, it's amazing. I just love it. Um, I've asked him to do uh, another drawing for the entry that is going to be uh, in keeping with the whole thing, the whole theme that he's drawn. So uh, Chaz, thanks very much for going to all the effort. Uh, the next one will be Marvin. Marvin is a young guy that I've been in communication with uh, since I've started the channel. Uh, Marvin has been subscribed to me for quite a while and He's a young guy that's into architecture and he's been communicating with Caleb as well and done some drawings for Caleb that I've seen. And I've asked him if he wanted to have a go at uh, coming up with a design for the parlour as well uh, because I've seen his work and uh, I'm sure he can come up with something great. So Marvin, I can't wait for that. Thanks very much for being excited and willing to give it a go. So as you may already know, I work by myself. And uh, one of the things I do during the day when I'm working is think about my house. So I'm here going, this is where I was drawing out the, um, uh, the entry. And I'm like, well, you know, the arch there, arch, arch, arch. And then I was thinking, oh, do we put a fireplace on the corner? And I'm just drawing it all out, got my, um, bay window there. Uh, <laughs> that's what I do. I think about so today. Uh, this video wasn't thought about earlier, uh, just with working, and uh, I suddenly thought about roses. I thought, hey, why don't I give a go at making a rose? So that's what we're doing. So, anyway, enough talking, let's do something. Sorry, just a little bit more talking. So um, this, while I was sitting down having a pie at lunch, this was my chicken scratching. This and this. A couple of sketches I was doing, working out how I was going to make it. That's all this was about. How am I going to make this out of MDF? And uh, I've come up with a plan. So um, that's it. These things, a lot of the time, are designed as you build it. You can't, you can't sit there and be an architect and say, all right, this is gonna go there, it's gonna attach like that. You've gotta build it, then you've gotta add a piece, then you do have to think the basics of what you're doing, but um, you really have to build it, uh, design it as you build it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'll bring some MDF over and we'll start doing something.
Okay guys, that's what I'm gonna get done today. So I've got a good start to it. So I've got the, the overall disc, the, the base shape, I guess you would say, that's gonna go hard up against the ceiling. Um, then I've got the ring that sits uh, in from that. Then I've got the um, a step up and a ring with another little ring around it. And then there'll be another shape here and then it's going to go from there up like that and in and then it's going to have like a dome a separate piece with a flower pattern in the middle so there's going to be like uh, leaves you could say coming out from this all the way around and there's going to be two different patterns and it's going to alternate from one to the other one will be just a leaf the other one uh, will be a pattern one. I've got to um, have a closer look and see what it was and then work out what I can do on there. Um, so that's going quite well. Uh, another day tomorrow cutting up rings. I'll have all the pieces and then I can start doing the, it's like a corbel that will go here and divide it into about eight pieces. Um, so get those bits made. Then there'll be some curved pieces I'm going to make with some uh, a flower pattern or leaf pattern on them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the shapes and then on the, the ones that are like a leaf pattern, once I've got the curve on them and where I want them, I'm going to put a layer of um, cornice adhesive on there. And then that's going to give me something I can shape into a three dimensional uh, shape of whatever it might be, a leaf or um, whatever flowers uh, I, I wouldn't mind doing maybe an alternate flower leaf flower leaf or something like that in the uh, if this goes well I'm gonna make another one for the dining room and I'm gonna have fruit cereals meat I'm gonna divide it into different types of food um, that's thanks to you Caleb um, with the uh, dining room, uh, what do you call it over there? Um, not a rose, a, it's not coming to me, you know what it is. Um, yeah, so rose, I'll just say rose. Uh, so I'll have a dining room rose and a parlour parlor rose. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this, it's a pretty cool project. Um, I did, I, I was going to, I was thinking all different things while I was working. And I was thinking, oh, I could make it out of clay and then make a, uh, a uh, mould out of like a silicon. You, you pour the silicon on there and peel it off and, you know, hey presto, there's your mould. Um, but then I thought, I'm not going to need to pump out multiples of these. Thought I might do one more thing for today. Um, so these thin strips here, thin rings, they're going to have a full round on them. So I've got a 6mm um, coving bit, um, so I'm going to run that around one of them just to show you what that's going to look like. So that's what we've got so far. So um, now in between here, there's going to be lots of little um, roses and uh, things there that the where the leaf bits come in, that'll be cut out and it will go into there. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's going to look pretty cool. 
So it doesn't look like much. It looks a bit like a wedding cake at the moment, but you'll see when it all comes together, it won't look like a wedding cake anymore. As Soon as I get these little leaf, leaf things made up, that's gonna change the whole look of it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty cool. So it's the next day and I'm gonna keep working on this ceiling rose. So I'm gonna make the little pieces that come out here and then I'm gonna start layering up uh, the, uh, the curved pieces that I cut up yesterday. And uh, I'm gonna make this center piece, build it up to the height and, and make these corbels that are like a corbel that go on each one of these lines. So um, I'll start working out the shape of these, how big they need to be and what shape they need to be. And uh, I'll get all those cut up and then we'll work out how it's going to uh, match up with this curve.
Okay, so things are moving along slowly. Um, it's going to take me a fair while to do this, but it's looking good. I'll show you a close-up in a little bit. But um, this piece where this comes around and go, goes like that, uh, I've got to make a shell up now. So I'm going to cut that to shape, and then I'm going to put a curve on it over on the lacy and sit that in there and see how it all looks. So I'll do that, and then I'll come back and have a chat. Alright, so that was fun. I just put a nice flat spot on the end of my finger. Believe it or not, it happens. Not every day, but regularly. So anyway, the main thing is I got my shape done. And that's going to look pretty sweet. Got to make it a little bit thinner yet and then cut the shell shape into it. And uh, yeah, it's nice. Okay, so um, yeah, this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. So I've got the patterns now for everything. So um, I've got the, um, these pieces, whatever they might be called, and I've got um, these ones roughly shaped out. I've got a lot of fine tuning to do, and I might put some... Um, uh, cornice adhesive on there and then fine shape that so I can build it up and make it more three-dimensional so uh, and then I've got the little shell which is pretty cool pretty happy with that one um, got these little round pieces made up that go on there um, and I've started cutting out the rough shapes for for those two so I've got patterns for things now um, the the rings that go in the middle here and the corbels, they're a relatively quick thing to do. These are the things that take a fair bit of time with all this uh, carving out. Um, this will all have to be smoothed off, probably um, brush on some cornice adhesive, a couple of coats, and that will just smooth everything out. And then I can sharpen it up with some sandpaper where I want some nice sharp edges. And if I want to build it up and make it more three-dimensional, I can let the uh, corner adhesive go off a little bit and then almost like plasticine, put it on there where I want it, roughly to shape, and then sand it up or even with the Dremel uh, uh, route that uh, or carve that out uh, a little bit more if needed. So pretty happy with that. The shape's looking pretty cool. I can imagine it with the, uh, the corbels that they come up here and then they curve down and up. So they, sorry, they only sit about this high. And there's another ring that goes around here that's going to have slots all the way around it. And then it's gonna, the corbel's going to go down and up to, a, to somewhere here, leave another bit that's domed in the middle with some shapes down it. So that's where we're heading. Um, 
I don't know if you can get a good picture of it. Um, I'll attempt to get a video of it for you in a minute and hopefully you can see what it's going to look like. But um, this is going to come together probably over three videos, uh, I would say, um, and then it'll be ready to put up. I'm not going to be able to get this as good as if I fully carved some, uh, uh, some clay and made a mould, but I don't think I need to. The ceilings are so high um, and no one's going to spend any time standing there studying the detail on it. They're going to look up, go, oh, wow, that looks nice. And normally the light will be on because it is dark inside the house if you don't have lights on. So they're going to be looking up with the light shining down on them and see almost the outline of it. So um, I'm fully aware I'm not going to get this as good as if I carved some clay. <clears throat> I am going to make the one for the dining room and that one's going to be, uh, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, food theme. Uh, as uh, Caleb had mentioned uh, on his, in his house, uh, so I'm going to go with the same sort of theme. Um, with that one, I'm thinking I can probably find things and um, do a bit of a mould type setup and then put it all together, maybe. But I'll see how this goes. I might get down the track and go, no, nah, it's not good enough. But I'm, I'm backing myself. I'm thinking that I'm going to do a pretty good job with it. So, I mean, just the way it's coming together now, you know, with these shapes, the little shells. I mean, these shells are pretty cool, you know, once they're all sanded up and uh, they're um, shaped on the back so that they've really got like a, a shell shape to them. They're pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to leave the video here. Um, I happen to just receive the O-ring for the nail gun which is awesome because I can go and I can put some more frames together and get another video out over the weekend for you. I'm going to go home and uh, I'm going to edit this so you can get this one straight away. Uh, but then, yeah, we'll be able to get back into the framework. And um, if I get an email back from uh, Chaz and Marvin, uh, I might get a design finalised in my head or on paper and be able to then start constructing that. So we'll see how these designs come back and also what's going on in my head. Uh, but for the moment, we'll just leave this video here. I hope you enjoyed this. It's something different. I, I, don't, I think this is another one of those, no one would do this. No one would make a, a ceiling rose out of MDF. I mean, the hours that it takes, if I was to have to pay me to do it, you know, I'd be better off going down to the plaster place and buying one. But it's going to cost me about a thousand bucks to buy this one, the one like this, uh, proper plaster one. And I'd rather play around and have the joy of building this myself than outlay a thousand bucks. So I have even thought about, I wonder if I can do the corners. You might see get, uh, corners getting made as well. Um, so, um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed seeing this project sort of starting to take shape. And uh, I hope uh, I can get another video out to you. Uh, maybe not next week. It might be the following week. But I'll keep working on this like I did with the carved um, pelmet. So well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I look forward to you joining me on the next video. And having a chat with you in the comments that I love that. So yeah, don't be afraid to uh, have a chat. And uh, until the next video, you take care. Cheers.